Okay, boys and girls, in Lesson 17, we are still solving division problems, and we are still going to use a model, and we're going to be using the place value chart. The only difference from Lesson 16 to 17 is that in 17, you're going to have to decompose a remainder in the tens place. Let's look at the application problem. Michaela and Marjorie found nine dimes and eight pennies. If they share the money equally, how much will each of them get? So our answer statement is they will each get blank. So we have nine tens because a dime is worth ten cents, and eight ones because a penny is worth one cent. And we're going to divide by two. I filled in my place value chart with ninety-eight. Nine tens, eight ones. I was able to put them into groups of two. I had one left over, so I had to decompose it or unbundle it into the ones. I knew that I had eight ones, so I had to add ten more, so I had eighteen total. Then I put them into groups. I wound up with my quotient as four tens, nine ones. So ninety-eight divided by two is forty-nine. They will each get forty-nine cents. Let's look at this one. We have three ones divided by two. So I placed three ones in my place value chart. I drew my lines. Because I need to put, I have two groups. Remember, what we talked about is if you're dealing cards or you're handing something out. I was only able to put one in each group, and I have a remainder of one. So the quotient for three ones divided by two is three, remainder, I'm sorry, is one, remainder one. Let's look at this problem, very similar. Three tens divided by two. I placed three tens in the tens. I was able to get one in each group. I had to decompose this group of ten. There were no tens here, so I have ten ones total. And I put them into the groups. Remember, you check off each one as you place it in. Okay, That way you can keep track of it and your calculations are accurate. There's five in each one of these groups. So 3 tens divided by 2, or 30 divided by 2, is 15. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at this one that over here. 4 ones divided by 3. Again, I filled in my place value chart, drew my lines underneath. I was able to put 1 in each group, and I crossed them off as I did so. There was a remainder of one. So four ones divided by three is one remainder one. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at the next one. We have four tens divided by four tens, two ones, which is 42 divided by three. I placed four into my tens and two into my ones. As you can see, there's one in this group. Over here, I should have a total of 12 because I had two ones. Okay, and then you start to distribute. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, let me cross those out. I went a little too far. So here we have four in each of these groups. So 42 divided by 3, or 4 tens to 1 divided by 3, is 14. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 8 tens.